I assume you saw this letter in the post today. Indeed. What are we to do? If we show your stepsister leniency on her rent now, where does it end? On the other hand, if we don't help her, and she can't take care of herself and the child, for all we know, she could end up on the street. What would people say? I'm afraid public opinion would turn against us. If you think she needs a bit of assistance under the circumstances, I imagine that could be tolerated for now. Charity is the breeding ground for beggars. Why the wealthy must be held responsible for the misfortunes of the poor, I'll never understand. The mill is doing well. Surely this gesture would relieve us of any other obligation to her, and we would be seen favorably in the public eye. Obligations? Why my father had to marry into such a common family, I'll never understand. And now I'll forever be responsible for his impudent decision. As for public opinion, the only opinion that matters is the Brownings. How they manage to achieve such status and wealth above us is beyond me. But clearly this is a family matter. There are certain expectations. She shares no blood of mine. She shall not be responsible for my undoing. Still, it is a delicate matter and must be handled with a bit of finesse. <sighs> I have the mill to run. My time can't be whittled away in these petty affairs. <sighs> I'm getting a headache. Wait. We shall give my sister something better than a handout. We will give her the gift of self-reliance. A job. At the mill. Work will help distract her from her sorrows and allow her to feel part of something larger than herself. For once, father always did spoil her. She won't hold up. The conditions are poor at best. She's always seemed rather delicate. I run a textile mill, not a Turkish bathhouse. No, if she can't handle the long hours, surely that's not our concern. And she'll just go away? Precisely. The question is, what is to be done with her? I certainly can't be burdened with her. Her mother was only my half-sister, after all. Come. It's enough. That's Miss Elizabeth Browning. No. You wait here. As your mother, Alice, it is my responsibility to introduce you into good society. The Brownings are the wealthiest family in town. You would do well to become close to your Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth, please uh, allow me to express my condolences on the loss of your younger sister. I can't imagine how difficult the last few months must have been. Well, we're bearing this as best we can, Mrs. Wentworth. Let me introduce you to my, my young daughter, Mrs. Alice. Pleased to meet you, Miss Browning. And you. Please forgive me, I'm expected home. Oh, of course, my dear. And send my regards to your mother and father. Oh, don't call me that. We're not really family. Your mother wasn't even my real sister. What did she say about me, anyway? She believed everyone had a kind heart. Your mother was a silly girl with ridiculous notions. I'm sorry she filled your head with fairy tales and nonsense, but that's not how the real world works. Come. We've wasted enough time. Mr. 
Mr. Wentworth sent his regrets, ma'am. He's been detained at work. Shall we wait to serve dinner? No. We'll eat without him. And the young girl, ma'am. Will she be dining with you as well? Don't be ridiculous. Very well. Mother, how long must that child stay with us? I've taken it upon myself to make arrangements for Annabelle. Tomorrow, she'll go to the mill where she'll live and work with all the other orphans. <laughs> she'll be a mill girl? How long is she to stay? No. If everything goes well, forever. There's been a development at the middle. You know how your work bores me. At the risk of putting you to sleep, please allow me to continue. Well, if you'd just begin, you'd be done by now. But why didn't I figure it out? Annabelle is gone. Gone? What do you mean gone? Where did she go? How shall I know? It appears she ran away from the boarding house late last night. Doesn't the overseer watch them? Apparently not. Stupid man. Need I remind you what an embarrassment it would be to this family if our association with that girl is known? We must find her at once. I'm one step ahead of you. I sent the overseer out last night to look for her. Hmm. And pardon me, but I don't have your confidence in the simpleton. Once she's found, she must be taken to the coal mines and kept as far away from here as possible. Consider it done. Hmm. She's eluded our valiant overseer again. Oh. How many more months will this go on? What should we do? It's cold outside. She'll need shelter. The only place she can go is the church, which will bring her right past the mill. Have your man wait between the river and the mill. She might try to cross the ice. No. The current's too strong and the ice is only ever an inch thick. We've got her trapped. If we don't, the Brownings are in for a pleasant surprise. What do you mean? It's Christmas Eve. They'll be at the church when Annabelle stumbles in from the cold. Wretched girl. I won't have her ruin my reputation. Don't you mean our reputation? What are you waiting for? Go.